is recommended by the NHS that we get at least two and a half hours of sporting activity each week. Activities including muscle strengthening exercises. This should include moderate intensity aerobic activity, such as cycling, to increase your heart rate. Students have a new sports union to help them achieve this target. Matt Corey is the president of the new sports union. What we've done in the past, where we've just been labelled as a society under the student union, we now have this um, shift where we actually have our own powerful union. We have our own members that will listen to us. We have their voice um, in terms of their ideas for sports and what they actually want. This, this union split has actually kind of um, done wonders because whilst we have splits and we are an independent union, we still remain affiliated with the students union. Um, we get given our own separate budget which the sports office will use. However, the BSU exec, the Buckingham Sports Union exec, get their own sports development fund um, which we will grow and use that just to de develop the actual clubs themselves. Since the union split, we've definitely seen an increase in the number of people that have engaged with sports. Um, whether that's just because of the news, um, I'm not sure. However, our memberships have jumped drastically, especially after this huge intake of freshers that we've had. So how have the students been feeling the presence of the new sports union? I have actually noticed changes in the sports union. Um, after last week's sports fair, uh, we, our friend and I actually signed up for the gym. It's allowed the union as a whole to offer the students something else that wasn't previously available. We see organisation we see things happening the way we wanted it to happen. We see order, we see respect. Things are looking optimistic for the new sports union. If you're about to take part in the sport, head over to the Buckingham Sports Union Facebook page or the university website. This is Henry Thompson, Buckingham News.